Hey friends, my name is Mike. I'm extinct from Stints Built on the optimization side. And today I wanted to go through some steps to improve Tarkov performance. Uh, we got the wipe coming up. I wanted to go through some window settings and, and just general uh, steps you can take to improve things. You know, we got streets coming up, allegedly around Lighthouse level performance. Don't really know how true that is, but uh, that'd be nice if it was the case. Lighthouse has gotten a little bit better over the most recent patch. But for those of you on older systems who aren't looking to upgrade or, or get new PCs, um, there are still things you can do with a lot of these PCs. We've seen this time and time again, doing tuning and optimization for Tarkov over the past year or so. Um, so just starting off, you know, this is going to be a bit more Windows side, not too much on the hardware side today. Um, but these are general steps you can take to improve most games. But there are some things in particular for Tarkov that I want to talk about. Getting started, I do want to go through uh, initially just clean up Windows a bit. A lot of people come through uh, with extremely bloaty and, and, and overgrown uh, Windows, if you will. Um, so just come through your Windows apps and try to uninstall as much as you can that's not being utilized. Things that Windows likes to put on there, like Skype, as you can see, uh, Xbox services, all that kind of stuff. Just clean it up. Um, you know, GeForce Experience is one tool I really like to see people remove entirely from their system. It is very bloaty as well. Uh, the overlay that a lot of people use the shadow play for does hurt your FPS, does touch your input lag, things like that. Really important to try to get that off if possible. Um, if you're if you're used to using it to clip. Uh, unfortunately, on a single PC, no matter what you do, there is going to be some of that, that little bit of performance loss. Uh, the next thing you do want to do is go to your Tarkov executable file, find EFT, find the escape from Tarkov.exe file, um, and under properties, make sure you set disable full screen optimizations and override heavy DPI scaling. This trick does work for Tarkov still, just because it is a bit of an older game. Um, this probably won't work for a lot of newer games if you're playing COD or, or Apex and things like that. Uh, moving over to graphic settings, make sure you turn off game bar. This one in particular, just get it off. I mean, there's really no excuse now that we have Discord on Xbox, really no point. Going to Discord, uh, same thing, game overlay. Just game overlays in general, try to get them off your system if possible. Uh, and then hardware acceleration, same thing in Discord and your web browsers. Uh, try to get them off of, of your system as much as possible. These things are utilizing your graphics card to run these apps faster. With a gaming PC, we want the game to be the priority. We don't want that horsepower sort of being popped over. Um, if this is more of a standard use PC, you can leave those on. They will kind of make those apps a little bit smoother, but in general, hardware acceleration, try to disable that as much as possible. Same thing with game overlays like Game Bar, Discord, um, GeForce is, is the other one, obviously, that we already, already touched on. Those main three, really try to turn those off if possible. Um, now, under graphics settings, we have hardware acceleration. This one is a bit of a play with it thing. You don't have to be married to on or off. I have seen similar spec systems or even the same spec systems with turning hags on and hags off have wildly different results. It can also depend on what graphics driver you're using. Nvidia just hot fixed uh, an issue with GPU scheduling that was causing GPU utilization to shoot up. Um, but that is one you may wanna play with and just test on versus off. Um, however, generally I do recommend right now at least to just disable it. Um, to kind of have, have the best bet, if you will. Going through NVIDIA control panel settings, these have not changed over the past couple of years. There's not a whole lot you really need to be touching here. Some people do say that setting uh, low latency mode to on plus ultra in the 3D settings under global does have a positive effect on FPS. I generally don't observe this, but this is another one you can sort of play with. Um, what you do want to do, however, is go to program settings and make sure that you set a program specific setting for Tarkov. Find the escape from Tarkov executable. It's in the same path that you would go to uh, to find the, the launcher for BSG, right? It's in that same folder. So do these steps here. What we like to do is uh, add sharpening through NVIDIA control panel and use this in place of the in-game sharpening. Uh, I find that this looks a little bit better. Doesn't necessarily affect your FPS the same as the in-game setting does as well. Um, so that's a free a free sharpening method you can try as well if you do, if you do wanna mess with that. I like it a lot personally. Um, the only difference here is that your power management mode on the executable should be set to prefer maximum performance versus the global section. You may want to just leave that on normal. If you set it to max performance on global, what's going to happen is that on desktop, when you're not doing anything like I'm doing right here, your GPU is going to ramp up clock speeds and power usage, and, and that doesn't help you in any way with the games. I would recommend leaving that on normal if possible. Um, if you're on older series cards, you can leave it on optimal power. Um, and the only other trick here realistically is to, to make sure you do set these uh, other lines here. Vertical sync should be off uh, as a definite. You can also come to adjust desktop color settings here. And this is a good placeholder for post effects, which can affect your FPS as well, especially if you're utilizing the sharpening uh, with those post effects. 
Setting, um, some color settings here will really jack up the vibrance and visibility, um, especially for Tarkov with a lot of the darker areas of a lot of the maps. So this should help enemy visibility in general without touching your FPS uh, and just more so broadly apply versus post effects that can be very map dependent um, and, and weather dependent as well. Um, so now what we'll do is we'll go ahead and launch up our Tarkov here. All right, so pretty much finished pulling the game up here. And I just want to touch on some of the in-game settings that we'll go through. Now these are a bit dependent on your specs in all honesty. Um, the most important one realistically uh, that I see a lot of people mess up on is your shadow quality. Uh, there is a bit of a bug with the game right now where we're setting shadows to, to medium quality actually almost has the effect of putting them to, to high or ultra. Uh, and it does rob you of quite a few frames. Ideally, you want to put this low. Uh, putting the shadow quality up as well does make it a bit harder to see enemies and bushes and, and high shadow environments. So if, you, if you're trying to avoid rats and, and bush campers, uh, I would recommend that definitely on low on top of the FPS benefit. Um, so just something to keep in mind there. Uh, texture quality, certainly to high, however, that does look quite nice. LED quality, one peg has a great video on explaining this setting in particular and how it affects visibility of enemies over distance, uh, but it is a big drag on FPS. Generally for most people, I would say between two and 2.5 is gonna be the sweet spot for FPS, uh, but you can check out one peg's video to kind of see what that setting's more so about. It, it can be a preference thing. Anti-aliasing, I do recommend at least TAA or TAA high. Uh, FXAA doesn't look too well, uh, too, too good in my opinion, pretty jagged with a lot of the edges and, and, and uh, textures in the game. So I do recommend TAA. Now, skipping through here, uh, I do want to touch on FSR, uh, FSR 1.0 for AMD. Uh, this actually can apply for NVIDIA and AMD graphics cards. I prefer FSR over DLSS every time when we have a case where somebody needs uh, an upscaling because they have a severe GPU limitation for somebody maybe who plays on ultra wide resolution with a lower tier card like a 3070 uh, or someone who plays on 4K if you're not on like a 4080 or 4090 even. Um, you can be pretty GPU bound on this game at those resolutions. So FSR is a great tool. I do think it looks a lot better in Tarkov than DLSS. Um, and ultra quality in conjunction with the NVIDIA control panel sharpening that we did earlier actually looks quite nice. It does account for and sort of mitigate a lot of the blurriness that these upscaling tools sometimes come with. So definitely something to try if you are really GPU bound. This is not gonna work for everybody to get you frames. And again, it does come with a, a image quality degradation penalty. Um, but if you are somebody who plays on ultra wide resolution or even just 1440p with, you know, I would say a 3060 or below, 3060 Ti maybe or below card level uh, class of performance, FSR can be a good friend to you. So it's worth a try at the very least. Um, moving on, HBAO and SSR are two other settings that I, I, I do quite like um, to improve the quality of the game and, and especially certain foliage and, and environmental details. Uh, generally, the sweet spot's gonna be max performance, HBAO and SSR to low. If you are on a 3090, 3080 Ti, 3090 class and above, and you're not on a super high resolution, you can definitely run a high setting for both of those and it looks quite nice and you really shouldn't get much of a, a hit on performance. Um, anastropic filtering is one you can set to on as well. Uh, this is a bit of a play with one as well, but uh, generally if you're on one of those higher end systems, you should be able to get away with on there. Um, and then rounding this out here, we have NVIDIA Reflex Low Latency. You need to turn this off and then set VSync to on to properly uncap your FPS in game. If you do not do this, you will have some weird VSync issues going on, or just generally you won't have uncapped FPS. So make sure you first turn v NVIDIA Reflex Low Latency off, turn on, VSync, and then set Reflex to on plus boost. Now rounding this out, there is one more uh, setting here. Only use physical cores. The setting's bugged. It's a good attempt because we're gonna talk about another little tool here called Process Lasso. This can be very powerful if you are on uh, older hardware, especially like eight through 10th gen Intel, Ryzen 5000. What you wanna do with this is find the Tarkov executable while the game is up. You're gonna set two things in particular. Uh, you're gonna set the priority always to high, and then you're gonna set the affinity always to disable hyper-threading. Uh, this can really affect your FPS in a positive manner and does a lot better job than the Tarkov setting does. I do recommend you play with this and, and you don't have to be married to this application. It is free to use, it's called Process Lasso, um, but I highly recommend you check that out and uh, see what it can do for you. It, it can really move the needle. I'm gonna go to a before and after for some, with some overclocking things that we can, able, uh, that we can show you uh, to really get the most out of your system, which we do offer through our tuning service. Um, but aside from that, those are your Windows settings and a bit of a guide for you guys to, to really improve things. So, check us out.